So let's let's continue from data visualization to to ideation, and for me the challenge is that I actually volunteer to <laughs> be part of some exercises. Petra Palma is going to do within the next I don't know four to five minutes hour yeah. So I don't know I'm a bit like freaking <laughs> freaking out, but I guess that that just tells us how adult, boring, conservative I am too. <laughs> but yeah, the, the session is about ideation. If you need to do pitching, if you need to get great new ideas, how do you present yourself? Petra is, is giving some examples or gives some examples mm -hmm. about, about that. So warmly welcome. Okay, thank you, everybody. Uh, let's begin with the um, video.
was made by Carl Fish and uh, it's from YouTube. So, hi everybody. What you saw now, that's the world we're living in. We're living in a fast, quite stressful world. And uh, information technology, it develops faster than we can master it. In order to be creative, you have to think out of the box. I've heard that if you can't solve a problem in five minutes, it means that um, you're not intelligent enough or the problem is not solvable. Is this true? What do you think? I think that um, when you talk about creativity, it needs time and it needs practice. And that's what we're going to do today in this presentation for the next 45 minutes. And because most of the knowledge is in the audience, I'm, you get to work in pairs and I'll just guide you through some exercises and make examples with Sonia. That's great. Okay? Are you up for this? Are you, are you, I need... Yeah? yeah? That's good. Because, um, and you'll have time for questions in the end. So, let's go on. Those of you, those of you who understood that this presentation is not going to work without your effort, please stand up. <laughs> Yay, come on, everybody! <laughs> okay, I need everybody to stand up, please. Come on. <laughs> Even those who didn't understand. Okay. <laughs> okay, what I want you to do, do now, I want you to in like good working condition. So just let's, we're going to stretch a little bit. You've been sitting already for an hour. So just put your hands up to the sky and go on up on your toes. Yay, good. And reach to the sky. Good, and then put your hands down and just roll backwards your shoulders. Yeah, and just keep your knees relaxed and the whole body relaxed. Good. Do you do this often? <laughs> Very First good. Time. First time. <laughs> okay, and the other way around also. Is everybody? Yeah, nice. Okay, and then just with your head, you make two big circles, really slowly. Just let the head's weight roll you around. And the other way, too. Okay, good. Then we're going to check if your voice is, is okay. This, I couldn't find a translation for this exercise, but it's called pystyrytkytys. Pystyrytkytys. And it's like skiing, you know? You imagine that you're on your skis, and then just take and go like this. Good. And then let your voice come out, just ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah, you can try to go faster or slower, do in your own tempo. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, good, good. You can continue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is scientifically proven fact that the right kind of breathing method reduces stress. It, it makes you more calm and helps in difficult situations. It relaxes you. So we try this now. And um, we do it so that you put your right hand on top of your lower stomach and your left hand on your chest. And then you just start breathing from nose in. You inhale from your nose and you exhale from your mouth. Yes, very good. Okay, I 
have a question for you. Um, which one of your arms moved more? The one on your chest or the one on your stomach? Stomach? Two, three, chest? Okay. So then we need to think about it a little bit because the bottom for breeding is in your diagram. It's in your lower stomach. And I'd say 80% of adults, they breed like only with one third of um, their lung capacity. So it's like up here on your chest. So let's try once more with this idea that you're really breathing down to the diaphragm. So you breathe in from your nose and your, your, your whole stomach expands and you breathe out and flattens. simple at first, but with practice you can really like start thinking about it that where, like how much time do I give to my breathing? Okay. Good. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. Then uh, next task is to take a pair. Choose somebody to work with today. I hope everybody finds a, a partner. Do you have one? Yeah? And Sonia is mine? Yes, yes she's excited. <laughs> okay, so first task is difficult. Just choose which one of you is A and which one of you is B. Okay, then you can introduce yourself also. If you don't know each other, tell us. Okay, good. So now we do it so that for, yeah, just shortly, A is gonna tell B what he has been succeeding this week for just one minute. Just brag, tell everything you've done this week, really good. And B is gonna listen. B is gonna just listen and smile and be like, wow. So you have one minute for this, and then when I say change, then you switch, and B is gonna brag for one minute, and okay? Understood? Go on. Minute up. go on forever but sorry we have to go to the next exercise thank you very much um, in the next exercise it's about communication and I think maybe about 
creative communication. And it goes like this. Uh, a, person A, is going to suggest something. And it's going to be, would you, would you like to have a cup of coffee? And B is going to answer, yes, but. And continue whatever she or he wants to say. And then we're going to have a discussion. But every phrase is going to start with, yes, but. So we're going to show. Would you like to have a cup of coffee? <laughs> yes, but um, I need a drink first. Yes, but uh, couldn't we go and get my coffee and your drink at the same time? Yes, but I also need something to eat. Yes, but we just ate. Yes, but I'm hungry again. Yes, but I'm not. OK. Did you get the point? OK, go on. about the energy here yes but I have to do this and this uh, yes but okay let's try another version it's really not so dif different from the first one and it goes <coughs> you start with the same question so Sonia is gonna ask me if I want a cup of coffee so, cup of coffee question would, would you like to have a cup of coffee <laughs> Yes, and should we also get some dinner at the same time? And Sonia continues with yes and. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and um, perhaps we could also go to see a movie. Yes, and we have to buy popcorn and Coca-Cola. Yes, <laughs> and we could go to party of the movie. Yes, and get wasted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK. So try this with your partner. partner and because uh, we're going to continue working in pairs. So, did you notice any change in the energy? 
Yes. And? <laughs> more positive. Yeah, fun. more positive. Fun. Where did you get where, where did you get to or go to? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it was only yesterday I heard about this booze event which apparently takes place in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> you go you're going there. Okay, where are you going? We are going to win all the demo compos. We are going to win all the demo compos. That's so simple. Yeah, and just change one word and you're going to win all the demo compos. Wow. <laughs> um, I have a question for you. How do you recognize a creative person? You can just shout if you... They look like hipsters. Yeah, hipsters. <laughs> do they have a little bit messy hair and they dress up... Yes, yes. That's, that's the stereotype. But um, do you think that somebody who thinks logically, can they be uh, creative? Yeah, and I do too. And actually, their biggest advantage is that they, they stay focused in the process. But the challenge is that uh, the challenge is to let go of their this natural instinctive need to evaluate the process and next exercise that you do this might be for the logic thinkers and the main point is is not to evaluate the process just create ideas okay so with your partner imagine that you two, you're developing an idea for a game, for example. But the original idea that you had, it doesn't please you. You want something completely different. So try this. Person A says a word, and B gives three opposites to it. And then B says a word, and A gives three opposites. And you just, you know, go, a few times like this. Imagine if you say each, you say five words, then you get 40 new ideas in less than a minute. Okay, so we're gonna show. Sonia is gonna say a word, and I'm gonna give three opposites for it. And with the opposites, don't be too precise. It's not like, it doesn't have to be black and white. It can be anything. A word. Anything. Nothing. Emptiness. Black hole. Um, pizza. <laughs> Opposite to pizza. Uh, gourmet. Yes. Uh, like <laughs> seven course menus. Wine tasting. Brilliant. And don't, don't, <laughs> don't evaluate the process, okay? Just let yourself go a little bit. Is this understood? Yes? yes? So with your partner, please try this.
a small discussion with your partner. Uh, how did you find this exercise? Were you able not to judge the process? I heard something a little bit like, okay, um, that, um, and, and just talk about the exercise. What stopped you or, or how did it feel? Just a little chat and then after that, if you want to share something or ask something, it's, um, there's time for that, okay? Something you would like to share with everybody? If wait. Yeah. Yes. So yes. Well, if the sort of word is uh, concept is too broad, then it takes a bit time to figure out sort of in what way an exact opposite. Mm -hmm. When there's multiple possibilities, like in different like perspectives. Yeah. And I have a question for you. Does it have to be the exact opposite? I'm one of those lo logical people. <laughs> I know, who yeah, from I this. hear yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, but this is really good exercise for you because it doesn't have to be exact opposite. And, and it sounds like then you just give, if three is not enough, then give 10 opposites. So you can like master the whole world. Okay, good. Any other conclusions or questions? Okay, really good. Let's try another exercise. And this might maybe suits better for those who already think a little bit more freely. And actually there's new people coming in. Does everybody have a pair? Because we're working here. So if you, okay, everybody's still, has a pair? Good. Okay, so A, person A gives three separate words, three words, and person B is gonna put them together in in any way. There is no there's no logic in this one. It's just like intuition and, and trust your instincts and try this. So so yeah. Is it like a sentence or a story or it can anything? be anything. Okay. It can be really anything. So let's try. I don't know if I can do the example, but Sonia is going to give me three separate words. Okay. <clears throat> Sun, unicorn, carpet. The sun made a shadow of the unicorn to the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not easy, but just Try it, okay? And give it, be patient, give it time. It's not stuff that you can like just learn and, and master in, in a few minutes. So try with your partner.
Finish what you are, what you're in uh, middle of. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, how did you find this exercise? Easy. Yeah, surprisingly easy. Surprisingly easy. Hilarious? Yeah. Do you think... Refreshing. Refreshing. Yeah. Okay. Do you think this could be a method um, in, in your daily work? In being creative? Yeah, why not? And you can, you can think about uh, random words, or you can pick up the words from, uh, from uh, like a sabloon already. If, it, if it's a... Well, I'm thinking of... Um, for example, a poem. So you just pick up the words from a poem and then uh, you start creating from that. So you have sort of like a beginning for the, for the idea or some kind of base. Okay, nice. You're, you're working really good and, and I like it very much. Um, in this kind of method, it's, it's um, important to give your brain like this day off and, and try to achieve a free flow state of mind. It's like an adventure and nothing stopping you. And if you know Picasso, in 1943, he put together a, a bicycle seat and a handlebar and it's a masterpiece, you know? <laughs> he calls it the bull's head and it looks like a bull's head, but it's a bicycle seat and a handlebar. Okay, the third way to be creative or look at creativity, um, and this is, this is nice, especially the bosses are gonna love this, um, it's daydreaming. And it's this kind of like active daydreaming. Albert Einstein, he has said that he got his best ideas while staring into nothingness or in the shower. And I actually get my best ideas in a shower, 
So I think me and Einstein were a little bit alike, but I, w well, <laughs> I wouldn't know then. But where do you get your best ideas? Is it in the office in front of your computer? No, no, I doubt. Hmm. And uh, when you daydream, it's so that you sort of turn down the thinking, the, the brain, and you use your subconscious intelligence. And this kind of daydreaming, it's, I don't think it's really supported in business life. You can tell your boss, yeah, I was outside for four hours. Uh, I was daydreaming. I was working on this project. Or can you? Yes, at least for some employees in some companies, I know that they can do that. They, they, okay, they, that's brilliant. Yes, yes, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Well, I thought I'd give you a little bit, bit of uh, quality time now from my time. I still have. 15 minutes, so you get at least five minutes from it to daydreaming. So just take a comfortable um, seat in your chair. Yeah, everybody's really excited. Okay, and sit like on your back straight and your legs in front straight. Shoulders back, you get really relaxed. Put your hands next to your corpse. There. Yeah. Good. And now, just for a short moment, pick a problem or question that you've had in your work or, or on your daily life. And just bring it to your head, to your mind. Think about it, go through it, and then let go. So you have. Half a minute for this. Okay, good. And now we do the same breathing exercise that we did in the beginning. So you put your right hand on your lower stomach and you put your left hand on your chest. And the idea is to breathe down to the diagram. So just Concentrate on the breathing, not to the problem anymore. Just relax and just breathe in your own tempo. You can close your eyes or keep them open. Just Okay. Hmm. Thank you. This daydreaming, it's like um, planting a tree. You don't have to stare at the ground, you know, like this, to see that the, the tree will grow. You know it'll grow, 
if you water it every once in a while, right? And that's what you did just now with the breathing exercise. You gave it just a little bit water. Okay. We have trained our minds to do these practical shortcuts. <laughs> and it helps us to do everyday stuff faster. When you start boiling tea, you don't think about the whole process anymore. You just put the, the kettle on and then you can do something else. Yeah, right. Unfortunately, some of us are too good in these shortcuts and they can't let go of them. And when you think about creativity, when you're, when you're trying to create something out of the box, the key is to stop using the shortcuts and let your brain work in a new way. Thank you. Uh, it has been a pleasure working with you and now it's time for your questions. Questions, anyone? Yes. <coughs> Where did you first come across this uh, method of uh, breathing so that uh, air comes down to your stomach? Okay, thank you for the question. Um, I've trained, I studied uh, speech and I'm a trained uh, speech teacher. So I've done four years acti active work with my own voice and with my own breathing techniques. So I learned it in school. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. So um, how do you match the uh, flow state with uh, documentation? So when you come up with good ideas, it doesn't feel sensible to do the documentation or you know collecting ideas at the same time, or how mm. does that work? Well, I'd su suggest that you create a team for that then, like... Uh, so the others can do the fun and the one poor one, fellow... One is writing, but yeah, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, that's true. A difficult question. I, I've used the method in like team meetings, where there's always one who's writing everything down, and the <laughs> others create, but also it's not so... Um, how do you say? It's not so dangerous if you, if you can't remember everything afterwards, you know? Maybe the stuff is not worth remembering. So you can just like have a flow and then afterwards you write down what you can remember. But there's no real answer for that. Just a thought of solution, uh, dictation. If you have a recording machine, you're doing this and saying That's stuff. it, yeah. Liberation okay. is kind of be a bit handful, but yeah. at least you won't lose anything. Yeah, yeah, you just record yourself going crazy. <laughs> 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 Thank you for that, I, I'll try it. <laughs> Do you have questions? Awesome. Yeah. Hi, I was just wondering if you could once again tell us what are the three modes of thinking that you went through and what problems you think each is best suited for. What problems? Okay, well, the first one was um, sort of creativity um, method or an exercise for those who think logically. So just these opposites attract and it's everything has an opponent, sort of Sherlock has Moriarty. So the idea is to find opposites and it's, it's for the logic thinkers, it might be a nice way to, to start practicing creativity. Uh, the other version was uh, for free thinkers who, were, who already have this kind of like flowing mind, free flow mind, and, and they, um, with this three word exercise, we give structure to the mind. So you get three words that structure the idea and, the, and then the task is to put them together. And the last one was for dreamers, for, for those who want to really create new ideas. And, and it's a method used by a lot of genius in, in our world. So just 
that. D did I answer your question? Yes, good. Uh, can you find more of this stuff online or anywhere? Definitely, yes. Do you have any suggestions? Yes, you can uh, check out this, the Mind Gym. Mind Gym. The Mind Gym. Okay. So that's at least one, th one, one um, they have a whole website with, it's like going to the gym, but you just work with your, <laughs> with your brains. It's absolutely fabulous. It's in English and they have um, a book also that you can find from bookstores and it's in Finnish. So either way, thank you. That's at least something. Any more questions, comments? No. So. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. My name was Petra Palma, and uh, I'm uh, from Bamla, my company. So, please feel free to contact or ask if you have more questions. I'll be here. Thank you very much.